getting into the stadium, the feeling and the buzz of the game had started long before the players got into the field of play. The former president of the Republic of South Africa, Mr. Nelson Mandela. When the announcement came through the public address system that Nelson Holihlatla Mandela was to enter the stadium, people stood up and there was a lot of cheering and vuvuzelas blew like you've never heard before. I was happy to see Nelson Mandela emerging from the stadium tunnel, greeting those inside the stadium. I was delighted to have been there. I stood there for a while, like I was dreaming, and I was looking back, and I said, it didn't happen in my time, but here I can see it. It's here. It's happening. Thanks God, because it's happening whilst I'm still alive. And I said to myself, indirectly, I'm also one of those who contributed towards ensuring that this happens in this country. And he's come a long way with the ball, which is now with Iniesta, the back heel from him. They try to open up the Dutch fire another route. Iniesta's in the middle all alone. If Fernando Torres can find him, it's stabbed away uncomfortably to Fabregas. Surely now! Surely now Spain have won the World Cup for the first time in history. And that was the beginning of the end of the great cup final. And the whistle blew for the final and the closing of the World Cup. And the Spaniards became the world champions. When the final match came to an end, and the World Cup party finished, it was very painful to realize that this was the end of my business. The business that had put bread on the table every day for over three years. I was used to waking up every morning to go to the stadium and work, work for my children in order to provide for them.